former Blue House lounge owner Song Ja Cha faces the possibility of life in prison after she was convicted on 20 counts of conspiracy, sex trafficking by force, fraud and coercion, attempted sex trafficking, and coercion and enticement to travel for purpose of prostitution. Cha stood between her defense attorney Howard Trapp and an interpreter as the verdict was read in the courtroom this morning. It took jurors less than two full days to weigh all of the evidence and testimony presented in the case to make their unanimous decision. U.S. Attorney for Guam and the CNMI, Alicia Limtiaco. We believe that justice has been served for these victims as well as for the entire community. We want to thank the, uh, the victims who uh, were extremely courageous and strong uh, in coming forward and being a part of this trial. It took a lot uh, of their uh, it took a lot uh, of them to, to do this. It was their testimony that convinced the jury that Cha was well aware of what was happening inside the Blue House Lounge, despite Cha's testimony that she was unaware of any sex for money occurring in her establishment. Various women testified how they were brought to Guam from Chuuk, thinking they would be working at a store or restaurant. Instead, they testified they were forced to perform sexual acts with customers in exchange for money and they were told they could not leave until they paid off their debt with Cha. Limtiaco says the prosecution and the verdict should serve as a warning for massage parlors and other establishments on the island engaged in prostitution. Again, this is all a message to individuals, organizations and businesses that conduct, uh, and ex that conduct these illegal activities and exploit um, women, men and children. Uh, in prostitution, in uh, any form of sexual exploitation. While jurors may have been relieved of their duties from the case, District Court Judge Dean Pregerson set another bench trial for May 11th as federal prosecutor Jared Fishman indicated the government's plans to pursue forfeiture of money that was confiscated when police first responded to the club. There is a certain amount of currency that's been associated with the uh, activities involving the sex trafficking and the prostitution. Uh, and so that bench trial uh, will speak to what is the evidence that associates that amount of currency with this case. Because she faces significant time in prison, Fishman asked the judge that the defendant be remanded to custody pending her sentencing scheduled for May 18th. That request was granted. The feds, meanwhile, still have some investigating to do following the testimony of police officer David Q. Manila, who admitted to paying $40 for sex at the Blue House. Limtiaco confirms they are looking into his testimony, as well as allegations that other police officers engaged in similar conduct. We will be reviewing the entire the entire uh, set of circumstances with regards to any uh, police officers that may have been involved. Police Chief nominee Captain Fred Bordalio says he has no tolerance for his officers being involved in any illegal activity. That automatically is being investigated right now in our internal affairs investigations. And uh, in terms of the uh, potential for uh, criminal investigations, you know, and uh, 